Karen and I were very excited when Christian and Atlas met Chrissy and Walter at the local dog park. They are both important parts of their life. A bit of time passed and I got a call from Christian. Mate, I want to marry your daughter. <laughs> Didn't floor me, just made me the happiest man in the world because I knew Chrissy was going to be the happiest girl in the world. The handcrafted ring housed in a wooden box, made with love and the actual timber from the park bench that they sat on when they first met. Christian, you are hardworking, thoughtful, patient, and witty. You are my encyclopedia, my handyman, my confidant, and my best friend. Thank you for letting me over-organise our life in spreadsheets, for leaving me cute notes around the house when you go away, and for bringing me home flowers, just because. In turn, I promise to feed you, support you, and celebrate you in a home filled with patience, trust and understanding. I promise to love you even when we hate each other and to always cherish life's simple pleasures, like walking our boys, drinking too much red wine on our porch and falling asleep in your arms. From Park Bay to husband, you've made more of an impact on my life than you'll ever know. And I can't wait to live the rest of this beautiful life as your wife. I love you. Chrissy, going to the park and sitting under that tree that morning was the very best thing I have ever done. I never thought I'd be meeting the love of my life. On our first date, I knew I wanted to spend every minute with you and our two boys who tagged along to most of our other dates. Since then, we have shared some beautiful times together. You have taught me a lot about myself and how to be a better person. I'm forever grateful. I vow to show you the love and support you deserve. I vow to listen to you and be present through the good times and the hard. I promise I will strive for the highest level of organisation you have shown me, because I know failing to plan is planning to fail. <laughs> as I'm writing this, I'm sitting on our bench top one last time, because as you have always said, bench tops are for glasses, not for our asses. <laughs> Chrissy, I cannot wait to spend the rest of our lives together. I love you so much. It gives me great pleasure to pronounce you husband and wife. Christian, you may now kiss your bride. Christian, as a young boy, was always creative and had a good imagination. As well as being the resident jeweller, Christian is also the funny, sensitive and caring one of the family. If I could have chosen a woman specifically for my brother, it would have been her in every single way. You've both gotten so lucky. I see how happy you make my brother Chrissy, and he is most definitely the jewel in your crown. She first introduced him to us at a sister's lunch at the Windsor. Christian could barely take his eyes off of Chrissy. Surely a blossoming relationship was not yet ready to endure a night with two very drunk skiers and a table full of screeching girls. But to Christian's credit, he did. And I didn't see that total look of adoration leave his face all night, nor have I since. I can still remember stumbling through the car park at the end of the night and Christian saying, Ash, I really like your sister. I really, really like her. We are extremely proud of you, Christian, of what you have achieved in your journey of life. I'm sure I heard a bark of approval from the sky today while we're just saying he knew it was a good thing. You both make us very so proud parents. 
On that note, Christian, I'd like to officially welcome you to the skiing family. Welcome aboard, mate. We see you look at Chrissy just like we have our entire lives, and we're so incredibly grateful to have you with us. A place for everything and everything in its place. Christian and Chrissy, one more, one more.